Hello. Hello, hello family. So if you look up the town of Paintsville, Kentucky on you know, any of the haunted places indexes online, you will hear, you will see <clears throat> that it's supposedly built on Indian burial grounds. Well, not supposedly. There is, you know, artifacts in the museum, the state museum, and, you know, that has been cataloged by archaeologists. There were several Adena burial mounds in Paintsville that has since been destroyed and moved. But us locals, at least some of us locals, don't believe that all of them were destroyed and cataloged and moved to, you know, museums. <coughs> Pardon me, I'm getting over a cold. Um, there's this old historic house in the area. The first part of the house was built around 1840. And the next part of the house was built just after the Civil War. Super haunted house. And I know this because I've done investigations in the house before. And <clears throat> I've also done historic tours of the house. The hill the house sits on is very oddly shaped for our area. It's very unnaturally smooth and rounded. Like a burial mound. Now it wasn't it had wasn't shaped and smoothed by machinery. The family cemetery is on this hill and you know, graves dating back to the early eighteen hundreds. It's an old hill, old cemetery, old house. <clears throat> it's naturally weirdly shaped. So, I'm going to show you all the hill, and we're going to, you know, we're going to look around and see what you think. Backside. This little section is the original 1840s portion of the house.
That is the FM Stafford house. <clears throat> One of the older houses in this area. I've been fortunate enough to do a couple events there and hopefully in July we'll be doing another event there. Older Town Cemeteries. We're going to just stop there for a minute. If we can find a good place to get off the road. Moss, moss covered trail. Okay, I brought you all up here because if you look, you should be able to see through the little scrub of trees in front of us at the nice smooth shape of the hill that's behind the Stafford House. You'll see just the back side of the Stafford House here. Isn't that a lovely, nice, smooth shape? Very odd compared to... the rugged hills that surround it. There's the graves of John Mayo and his wife. This is Alice Meek Mayo. And John Caldwell Calhoun Mayo. So, before we actually, before I end the video for the day, I want to show you a little bit of a little bit more history. When, before James Garfield became president, and before he was promoted to general, he was a colonel, and he was stationed for a while here in Paintsville, Kentucky, during the Civil War. And he actually posted cannons at this cemetery. This is one of our old town cemeteries. I won't go very far because it looks like the road is washing out. Don't know. Yeah, he posted cannons up here to defend the city 
of Paints Hill from the Confederate Forces. He later went on to fight at Middle Creek, which is in Prestonsburg, which is just up the road a little ways. And you can just make out the Stafford House there, right directly in front of us. The um, green building is our old courthouse. is the area of Paintsville that at one time was in fact a Indian mound. There was Indian mounds here and have since been destroyed. right over here where you see the CSX rail yard and if you all are familiar with the infamous UFO versus train incident apparently the train was hauled here first before eventually hauled off to I believe Huntington if you believe the story that a UFO hit a train somewhere near Painesville Kentucky 